So as we know, complete sentences need to have a subject, which is usually the person doing the action, is a person, and then it needs a predicate. And the predicate is a fancy word for what the subject does. So it's just a verb. This is hopefully what your English teacher has taught you. Subject, predicate, makes a complete sentence. So in English, a complete sentence could be, I eat. It's not a great sentence. If you handed it in to your English teacher, I don't think your English teacher would give you an A plus for it, but it's technically a complete sentence. In Spanish, it can be even easier. In Spanish, because we have to do this thing called conjugating the verbs, remember we have our box of six. And we conjugate the verbs and the I verb goes here and the U verb goes there and the he, she verb goes there. So in Spanish, to have a complete sentence, I can technically have the word yo como, that means I eat. Or, because in Spanish, I have to conjugate the verb, all verbs that end in this O right here tell me that it's an I verb. So technically in Spanish, I don't need this yo, I can just say como. Como is I eat. Again, it's not a great sentence, and I don't want you to get caught up on that too much. I think for now, we should probably stick with putting the yo there, because that makes it more like English for us to say yo como. I eat. That's technically a complete sentence. So now, going back to our vocabulary words for the week, let's practice with tener. Remember, tener is yo tengo, I have, tú tienes, él, ella, usted tiene. Ooh, that looks ugly. Oh, well. Nosotros tenemos, we have, vosotros in Spain, tenéis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes tienen. These are my verbs, tener, which means to have. So this week, I want you to practice writing sentences with tener and your vocabulary words. And this is how you're going to do it. Pick your person, or most of the time in the assignments, I give you a person. Let's say I. You start off with your subject, just like you would in English. If I wanted to say, I have Spanish class. I start off with I have, which is yo tengo. And then I fill it in with Spanish class. But in Spanish, I technically have to say the class of Spanish. So it would be la clase, the class of de español. So really, I need you to kind of memorize this phrase right here. La clase de, it means the class of. Let's say I don't want to say I have Spanish class. Let's say I have biology class. Same phrase. Yo tengo la clase de. I have the class of. And then I'm going to put in biology, which if you studied your vocabulary, you know is biología. And that is my whole sentence in Spanish. I have biology class. Let's try one more. Let's say I want to say we have math class. That would be nosotros, that's my subject, nosotros tenemos, that's my verb. We have nosotros tenemos. And then that magical phrase, la clase de, the class of biología. Or I could say, la clase de matemáticas, math class. La clase de ciencias, science class. Fill in your vocabulary word there. 
And that's how you write a complete sentence in Spanish. It works a lot like English. We still have our subject, nosotros. We have a verb, tenemos. We have. And then I fill it in. What do we have? We have the class of science. And that's all you're going to do today.